Hi you guys, so it has been a very long time since I have done one of these videos and by one of these videos I mean a nail art tutorial. I know, it's been almost a year. Um, the last tutorial I uploaded was in August of 2012 and that was the Minnie Mouse nails that I did for a friend of mine's birthday party. So today's um, nail art tutorial is actually going to be a water marble. Um, I did use OPI's Ski Till We Drop and Sally Hansen's Green with Envy. And you can see the design on my nail. Um, now, just for warning, the lighting isn't the greatest in this video. I'm still trying to get my lighting together. Um, so bear with me on that. And also, um, my camera, for some reason, doesn't pick up sound. Um, so I did have to do a voiceover. So again, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. And I will see you guys in the next video, which will be a haul video, by the way. <laughs> Bye. Hey guys, so in a plastic cup with the room temperature bottled water, I'm going to begin building my bullseye. Um, you can see that the polish doesn't really spread very easily um, in this video. And so what I did do, you'll see it here in a second, is I took my toothpick and kind of um, helped the water or helped the polish spread a little bit better. Um, and then I continued building my bullseye. Um, I am using OPI Ski Till We Drop and Sally Hansen's Green with Envy. And you'll notice I did tape off my finger that I'm going to be using. Um, and then I also prepped it with two coats of the Sally Hansen's Green with Envy. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and speed up this building of the bullseye process. And I'll be right back to do the design. Okay, now that my bullseye is built, I'm just going to take my toothpick and create my design. I'm just doing a basic flower um, design. So I'm just pulling from the outer part of the bullseye and dragging it in towards the center, making sure that after each time I pull um, a piece of the design, that I'm wiping off my toothpick too, because if you don't do that and your toothpick ends up with a bunch of polish on it, um, you'll create really sloppy lines and it's not very cute. So I'm just going to go ahead and create a flower. And if the center of your flower looks kind of janky like mine does, um, it's not that big of a deal. Just dip your toothpick or your orange stick, whatever you're using, um, in the center of the design and it'll clean it up. And then once you have the design that you would like, um, just move the cup around, like angle it, <clears throat> so that you get the proper design on your nails. And then once you get it angled properly, just dunk your finger into the water making sure that you do it semi-slow. And then I generally just blow on the surface of the um, the nail polish, just to get it to dry quickly. You do want to clean that up before you, you remove your finger from the water. So once the surface is dry, then just use your Q-tip or your toothpick or your orange stick and clean it up. And then once you've removed all of the polish off the surface of the water, slowly remove your fingernail from the water. And that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I will see you guys in the next one.